Yeah, I know I'm late. Um, I had work and all I had to do was make a short on the other news, but the Denver Broncos are extending edge rusher Jonathan Cooper to four years, 60 million, so 33 million guaranteed. So he's gonna be getting at least 33 million. While the rest is like, you know, tax, you know, and other shit like that. Um, uh, I think it was not a shocker because John and Cooper has solidified himself as a great edge rusher. Well, not a great edge, a good edge rusher. Um, he does need to work on like stop whiffing on some of the sacks. Like that's that's only his only downside. And you know he has a like, high motor, which is good because him and Benito been a good one-two combo. Um. I think both of them are on track for 10 sacks on the season. Holy crap. But good contract, 15 million. That's about what he's worth. Um, Pretty much nothing else to it, you know, because we, we got him in the seventh round. And he did really good, you know. For just going to it. And then when we get, when we um trade away Baron Brown, I'm like, yep, that's the end of that story. Because Baron Brown was just stealing snaps from fucking Jonah Ellis, who's 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 developing, because you know, has to go into it. So hopefully this is a sign that um Zach Allen and Benito are next, because Zach Allen's contract is due next season. I hope he stays. Oh, I better see a four or five year extension from Zach Allen by next off season, because you know he's been he's really been our best defensive player, like on the defensive line in the front seven. Him. Franklin Myers hasn't been bad either. He had the only sack against the Ravens. Um, yeah, John DeCooper, he has uh, five. I think he has, he has five and a half sacks on the season. Hopefully, you know, this weekend when we play KC, he gets after my homes, which I don't expect because they're going to hold all the time. That's all the Chiefs tackles do. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad John Cooper's back. That takes away another important free agent off the market for us because we have tons of cap because I think this is the last season that, you know, the Russ contract is going to be biting us like in dead cap. So, yeah, and we're going to have around $70 million in cap. Thank God we got John Cooper. I'm not, I wasn't really worried, but he's a, he's the top free agent that was left for us after we extended Sertan and Miners. And what else? Uh, the only other free agent is Garrett Bowles, which I would walk, let walk because I don't care if he only gave a one sack on the season. He has 10 fucking penalties. I think, I think, I don't even know how many were false starts or, you know, legal man downfield or holding. I don't, I don't care. I don't want Bowles back. I'd rather see Pachinski move to that left tackle to see what he does. Um, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But knowing the Broncos, because he was a, a long-term guy, they're probably going to keep him, which is not a good idea. They they want to build a young team, and they're going to have to get younger on that offensive line. But, yeah, John the Cooper, welcome back. I know I've been shitting on him, but that's because, like, la like last season, there was a couple times he could have had 10 sacks, but he, he whiffed. The one that pissed me off the most was the Joshua Dobbs one that led to a touchdown. I'm like, bro, he could have just shoved them out of bounds. <sighs> but it is what it is. He's a good he's a good pass rusher, all right? Really good. But that's all I want to say, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys soon. Peace out, and as always, go Broncos.